Good morning, GMS. I'm Josie Fiesel. And I'm Anna Ball. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of March 14th, 2022. Students, make sure to remember the sports. What sports? Spring sports are getting started. Make sure that you don't forget to go to one of the practices or tryouts. Also remember to submit your physical to the athletic office. Students, remember to not share any personal information like your passwords with any other students. Keep your personal information to yourself. The volleyball skill camp is coming up for grades 3 through 5 and 6 through 8. Registration forms can be picked up at GMS. Camp starts on April 4th at the GHS Activity Center. Track practice is going on now. Can I still get signed up for track? Yes, it is never too late to join, but you still need to turn in your physical soon if you do want to play. Now, let's go to Envy of the Week, Sports, Special Skills, and Top Training. Have a great week. Also, remember to stay safe. Hi, I'm Elise. And I'm Monica Schaefer. Welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. Let's get started with number two. According to Doggo News, the war between Russia and Ukraine continues. Russian forces unleashed a wave of attacks on neighboring Ukraine. Given that Russia had been gathering troops on Ukraine's border since October 2021, the full-scale invasion from the north, east, and south was not totally unexpected. Russia said, Ukraine is an inalienable part of our own history, culture, and spiritual space, but the fiercely independent people of Ukraine do not share that sentiment. Number one, as reported by Dogo News, there is a rare juvenile ghost shark. Ghost sharks have been around for millions of years. However, the elusive fish, which lives in the depths up to 6,000 feet, are largely unknown to science. The lack of crucial information, like how long they live or how often they repro reproduce, makes it challenging to monitor and protect the 52 known ghost shark species. Now, a rare no newborn chimera discovered off the coast of New Zealand may help scientists better understand the mysterious deep water creatures. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great lucky ducky green week. Also, try to catch a leprechaun. Hi, I'm Jonah and welcome to Sports for this week. On Tuesday, March 16th, GMS diving team away at County at 5.30 p.m. On Wednesday, March 17th, GMS swimming away at County at 5.30 p.m. That's all for sports this week, and have a great week. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I am Aiden Johnson here with 8th grade language arts teacher, Mrs. Downey. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Um, question one. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So this is my first year at Greenwood Middle School. I taught for 17 years at Inning Creek Middle School. Um, I live in Greenwood, and I've lived here for the past eight years, I think, with my husband. And our we have three dogs now and some stupid fish. And that's about it. Question two. What made you want to teach eighth grade language arts? Well, eighth graders are funny most of the time. And I like their sense of humor. And... Language arts is fun because you get to teach about anything you want. So it's not like history where it's the same thing every year or no offense, history teachers. Um, but like if I want to teach about the Civil War, I can through poetry and plays and stuff. Or if I want to teach about ghost stories, I can do that. So I like the, the freedom. Question three. Do you have any hobbies outside of school? Yeah, um, I love to flower garden and karaoke. I'm not very good at it, though. Um, I like to do crafts like diamond painting. Do you know what that is? No, no eh, it's weird. Um, I love to do woodworking. Like I make a lot of our own furniture, just creative stuff like that. Question four, what are your plans for spring break? This year, I don't really have any plans. Um, I say I'm going to clean my house, but that probably won't happen. I'm just going to hang out with my dogs and binge watch Netflix and just relax. Um, question five. What has been your favorite spring break in the past? My favorite spring break is probably the time that my husband and I went to um, West Palm Beach, Florida. It was during a recession. And so on West Palm Beach, there's tons of high-rise um, 
giant hotels, but nobody could afford to stay at them. And we stayed in this like rinky dink little condo. And so the whole beach was deserted and we had the whole beach to ourselves for the week. It was amazing. Cool. Um, thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Downing. Have a great week. You too. Closed captioning brought to you by me, Chris Campbell, in the beautiful Related Arts Hallway at Greenwood Middle School.